my friends, what's going on today? We're making a new road. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We started out making an RV pad across the fence and wound up making a half a mile of road. Hi friends. Great morning here in Senoida, Arizona. We uh had some big changes over the weekend on the ranch property. Let me show you what's going on. My RV parked in front of my son's house and behind the RV there is a, another guest house and a workshop. And anyway, this is a road that goes right through the middle of his property. And the cars zoom through here, sometimes faster than they should. And makes a lot of dust and his bedroom's right in there, just a few feet from his bedroom. And he works late at night and sleeps early, sleeps till later in the morning. Anyway, we started out with the idea that we would make an RV pad right over here in this grassy area. It seemed to make a lot of sense, get the RV off the road. My bedroom slide is actually only halfway out, I'm afraid to put it all the way out there on the road. But it's all private property. Um, it's an abandoned state highway, Old Sonoya Highway. And um, there's no easement anymore and no other person has to use that road to get to their property. There's other ways to get there. So it wasn't a problem for us to think about moving the road. Actually, to start with, right over here, speaking of, there goes a car past now. 
we're going to move the road right here on the other side of the fence, thinking that would give us lots of room to move the motorhome out there in the road and just uh, not be bothered by the traffic over here on the other side of the fence. And then the idea started to grow. As you can see, we have quite a bit more road here. Uh, we started with, well, what if we move the road a little bit farther up the hill? And then the plan grew and grew. And, uh, we decided to uh, actually make a road. <laughs> so we came into the corner of his property with the road. And there, so the old road goes up there where that car has stopped talking to somebody. And we went all the way up to the top of the hill. Oh, there's a piece of rebar. I don't think that ought to be laying in the new road. It also turns it into uh, ever so slightly more exercise, taking my morning walk on the road. Ah. We're at uh, about 5,000 feet here, which is uh, about what we are in Ajijic, Mexico, where Lynn and I live. But give you a sense of the new road and view of the Mount Wrightson over there on the other side of those mountains is Madeira Canyon. And you can see the road turned into Quite the road project. Lady just walked by. The locals are already enjoying ever so slightly more exercise up and over the hill. And the view, the view is amazing from up here. Anyway, a road. I never was privy to making a road before, but uh, it's amazing how fast this went. I mean, when you've got bulldozers and road graders, uh, and you know what you're doing. Um, it, he actually spent part of two different days, and it's done. And uh, Peter and I have some more fencing to do to actually uh, close off what will now be the private road instead of the public road. Still a private road. Uh, I mean... Peter owns the road. There's no easement. And it makes such a great difference in the property and not having traffic go right past the house and the dust and the way it's cut down in like that back up there. Uh, even the sound of the cars won't be as noticeable down in the house. That's the tractor barn. We need a tractor. Anybody around Arizona got a tractor for us for sale? It was a horse ranch, and uh, so far, my son's not into horses, but over there at that tree, which is now used by the hawk, there's one sitting up there in the tree. Right there is a hawk. But the rope hanging down there used to be for the horse to get tied up to, I guess. During the big monsoons, this all flooded, and this sand here 
actually talking to the guy with the tractor and the bulldozers and the road graders. We were gonna pull our motor home in here and I first called him just to move a little bit of sand because uh, the flood washed a whole bunch of sand down in here. And I actually turned the wheels on my Jeep. Didn't want to get the RV stuck in the sand. So, property starts at those arches, comes in here, went up there. Now, it's not going to go there. It's going to go up the hill and around. And we'll be closing this off right here. So, all of this private road becomes private. Probably take some fencing down so you can get to the barn and stuff without having to open a gate from the house. Ooh, there goes that hawk. Amazing wildlife around here. We've seen deer and javelina and lots of birds. Ravens come and talk to me every day. Yeah. Open the screen so I can take their picture. All the way. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Are they looking at us? It's open. They're looking at the new road going, what the heck's going on here? Maybe they're going to sleep right there in the shade. That'd be nice. Somebody else trying out the new road? We, uh, we were kind of worried about the traffic, and I see that we're going to have some. <laughs> oh, those two are really small. Oh, here comes number six. That's number six over there. That little one? No, the one that's oh, behind. That one. That's what's been going on here the last few days, and we're real excited about it. It's a big change in the property. Let's go see what Lynn thinks about it. You can see we've moved the motor home away from the wall, and we got plenty of room to put our slides out now. We may take that fence down too. I haven't decided yet. So, what does Lynn with the curly hair think about the new road? I think the new road is nice. Yeah? Yeah. Better? Better, less traffic, no traffic yeah. that we can hear, and um, I feel more secure. No dust? No dust, that's another big one. Not worried about getting run over when I step out around the corner of the RV? Yeah. Yeah. Which almost All that. happened. It's about time to bake cookies. What do you think? Yes. Hmm? More than time. What kind should I make? Um, cherry. Okay, you got it. I'll do that. Let's go see what's going on back here. Got away from the cactus. That's good. We closed off the road. Put up a big... Uh, Fence, new fence matches the old fence, closed off the road, and uh, got our RV in the road. Couldn't be happier with the change. One of many things that my son has on a list of things for me to get done. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.
I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.